Hey, I'm Georgie. And I'm Simon. And we're educators here at the Museum of Applied Arts and Sciences. Today we're going to be working on the exercise Pot Basics. We'll be learning how to read the Thinker Shields potentiometer and how to read those values on your computer screen. This is just like a dimmer switch on the light. The same code works for potentiometers that you can buy from an electronics supplier. If you don't have the guide, you can download a free PDF version from our website. Now let's just get, get on, on with, with it. it. We're going to start by opening the file TS Pot basics.ino, which you can download from our website. Then we're going to define our pin by inserting the code int pot pin equals A5. The A on A5 lets the Arduino know it is an analog pin. Analog pins are great for reading information from sensors. Each pin converts a voltage to a number between 0 and 1023. So that we can see the value of the number, let's activate a serial connection. We can use the serial monitor later to visually see the numbers being sent to this connection. To do this, we need to insert serial.begin115200. This starts a serial port connection with a baud rate of 115200. It is important your serial monitor matches this baud rate or it will just come through as gibberish. Then we need to find the comment that says slash slash read the input pin. Underneath that, we will put the value of the potentiometer into a variable. We are going to write pot value equals analog read pot pin. This reads the voltage on the analog pin and stores the number in a variable called pot value for us to use later. Lastly, we're going to print the value to the serial monitor so that you can see it. Under the comment slash slash print the contents of, insert the code serial.println pot value. This takes the number we stored in pot value and prints it to the serial connection so that you can read it in the serial monitor. Then, click the upload button to send the information to the shield. Once the program is running, click the icon and turn the potential meter back and forth to see how the values change. You can use this to create interactivity in your future projects. Thanks for doing this exercise with us. If you'd like to do some more, check out our other tutorials or go through the Quick Start Thinkershield guide. Hopefully we'll see you soon and until then, get on with it!